What's up, everybody? This is Luke Asper with Asper Studios here with a good friend, Reagan Strand. What's up, y'all? So we're actually going to do a comparison with the R5C and the... Red Komodo. We are here with another car from Diamond Luxury Car Rentals. So we're going to see, try to get the same exact shots. And this is the results that you're about to see. Let's take a look. <laughs> So the sequence you just saw was both the R5C and the Komodo footage combined. So now we're gonna do side by side. We're gonna have an A and a B and let us know which one you think it is below. All right, you probably guessed it right. Hopefully you did. A is the R5C and B was the Komodo. And so now that was the video. Now we're gonna take photos. Are you ready? Well, so hold on. There's a small caveat to this. Obviously this is clearly not a photo camera, but, but, but since we are shooting 6K raw with the R3D files, I can actually pull stills from here and print those out to a full canvas frame and still retain that quality. So no, no, I can't snap photos, which would yeah. definitely be more convenient, <laughs> but I can pull some screen grabs. Tom can take photos. <laughs> <laughs> the iPhone can take photos, guys. We're in the car and we're gonna talk about the, why you bought the Komodo and what do you think about after using the R5C what, what do you think about it as, as a Komodo owner? What do you think of it? So first things first, I will come out right and say it. I've already purchased and it's on order for my R5C. I think it is going to be like the game changing camera because if you, first of all, I want to talk about specs. Y'all can go look those things up as far as comparison and in the comparisons for cameras. But as a Komodo owner, I, I love my Komodo. It is, it gives me the quality that I need. I mean, we were just talking about it just now that the image that you get out of this thing and the flexibility is just like, it is, it's beautiful, it's there. I probably would have bought in the R5C before I bought the RED because the RED is specifically for um, cinematographers, people who are on commercial shoots, uh, people who have small to large crews. It's modular, it's great. But if you're gonna be just a content creator, R5C all the way. Everything you need is inside of that camera. And again, it comes down to the tool that you need to get the job done. And I think for 90% of us out there who aren't uh, on crews or trying to do commercial shoots, we're just solo one-man bands or even like a two-man band, R5C all the way. I would say if I had to give, you know, three pros to the R5C and three pros to the Komodo, the three pros for the R5C is flexibility. I mean, this thing is, it's a run and gun camera. It does everything, photos and video very, very, very well. Setup time, this thing you set it up and you're good to go. Like you just need to bring it and a lens. You can go run in that thing. And then third, probably workflow. Because one of the things that um, I have to do inside of my filing system with the RED is, I mean, they do a redundancy system and keeping everything inside of that, uh, their folders. There's multiple folders for multiple video files. Whereas in here, it's just like you, it's like a DSLR. You go in, you grab your photos, and you're good. Um, my pros for the RED are number one, quality and dynamic range. I mean, I, I have yet oh, to yeah. find a camera on the market with this price tag that can do what this camera can do. It is by far one of the best qualities that, that's out there. Um, number two, even though that file system is a, it's kind of a pain, if I'm going to be honest about it. It's a pain to work around. Um, the fact that I have that R3D codec 
to go in there and change anything and everything that I want in there. I know my file system now. I know my workflow. So I can adjust to that. And it, it it's that quality of the R3D that just lets me blow through and edit. Third, and one of the most important things that I think is, is it's, it's the form factor. When you're on a set, I can build this thing up and have an entire crew work on it, or I can strip it down. And it's just the brain, the camera, you know, or the brain, the lens, and a monitor, and I'm good to go, you know? So it's just depending on what you need. Yeah, so I'd say workflow, the R5C, hands down. If you have to do photo and video, obviously the R5C is a no-brainer. Um, the dynamic range, obviously the Komodo would win. So yeah, I think yeah. that was a pretty good test. Reagan, thanks for being here. Bro. You wanna see how fast this thing goes? Let's go. I'm just kidding, we're not, we're, we don't, we don't speed. Dang it. He doesn't speed. It's yes. <laughs> all right. See you all next one. Bye. That's actually a really sick shot. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that shot. I actually, that was nice. That was nice. That's a good hand music. All right. Cut. <sighs>